In the dream of the cold restaurant. The man with the buttonhole and broad lapels is folding and refolding a white napkin. Look, say his hands at intervals. A swan, a dancing girl, an intricate scale model of the Morn Library on Chancery Lane. The man adjusts his buttonhole and coughs as each one fails precisely to entertain. A waitress intervenes, bringing two plates, fluted, plain, translucent, and quite empty. Such is the gaunt extravagance of dreams. That waitress, though, all elbows, wrists and hips. A strip of exposed skin reveals a scar on the nub of bone that finishes the spine. No, not a scar. A burn. A full-blown wet rosette, just like the one you earned at 17 from a fuck on a nylon carpet. A carpet not unlike this carpet here, lalling its beige hoops and braids around the table's feet. Meanwhile, on the mezzanine, someone lifts a book and reads the line, He left his knee exposed and dreamed of travelling on a mail coach by night. Or quite. <laughs> when you offer up your plate, it turns beneath your hands to a crumpled swan. The man, of course, has gone. Such is the glib economy of dreams. So find a way to bear it, if you can. The man who folds and folds and cannot please. The cheap carpet telling its idiot riddle. The girl who has not learned to move between compassion and contempt. But then other people's dreams are very dull, as the waitress knows with all the brutal certainty of being 17. And she's gone too. She'll pull this city to the ground before she takes your plate, let alone your pity.